Hi guys, welcome to Hoops Junction. Today, Paul Pierce announced that he will retire at the end of the season and sign a one-year or one-day contract with the Boston Celtics so they can retire his jersey. And to that, I say congratulations to Paul Pierce. He has been one of those guys that not crazy athletic, not um, really crafty, but just a great player. Like. He's just one of those people that could play basketball in any era. He's just a basketball player. He's a man's man basketball player. You know, the guy got stabbed up a lot uh, in, uh, in the club in Roxbury, Massachusetts. And nobody thought he could ever play again. And he had a, a tremendous career. Won an NBA championship. I mean, the Paul Pierce that I know might be diff different from the Paul Pierce that you know. I know the Paul Pierce where the Celtics were awful. But I used to just watch him and Antoine Walker. And they used to carry that team. I mean, they'll make it to the playoffs. They wouldn't go far. But just watching Pierce do what he does. I mean, his pump fake, his shot fake, and shooting the three. He used to get a bunch of four-point plays. I mean, he was an animal in, in the game back in the day, man. He was nasty. He was nice. He was a little irky-jerky, not too quick, but not too slow. And um, his game, it showed. Everything that he did, it showed, man. He had a lot of heart. And he held the Celtics down for, like, I want to say... Eight straight seasons where they weren't, at times they didn't make the playoffs. Times everything was just going bad, but you would still want to watch them just, just for Paul Pierce. Because he could just flat out play. He could shoot the jumper. He could post up. He could rebound. He could defend. You know, in, in his prime, he could defend any almost anybody. You know what I'm saying? Him and Kobe used to go back and forth back in the day as well. So, I mean, just a tremendous career. He didn't. He didn't jump ship. Like that's that's the one thing I can say. Paul Pierce in his prime, he didn't jump ship. Later in his career, you know, he went to the um, the Brooklyn Nets, but that was like Danny Ainge deal. You know what I'm saying? And then he went to the Clippers, et cetera, et cetera. But Paul Pierce is like he's like he comes from that. He's cut from that different cloth. That that Kobe cloth. That Kevin Garnett cloth. You know what I'm saying? That '90s. You know, guys born in the 80s or, or late 70s and, you know, played through the 90s, just just straight, straight, straight nasty. I mean, I'm telling you, like, a lot of these kids just don't know. They just see him as a spot-up shooter, but he used to take in a basket. He used to dunk on people. Yes, he used to dunk on people. He used to have crazy layups, crazy defensive plays, taking charges, getting steals. And the, the what got me about Pierce was this. He played with such a, a vigor and intensity and he put so much passion into the game it's just like how could you not like a guy like that I remember one time they were playing in Miami this is when they first formed the big three and they were playing there and you know like I guess they were up by like 10 or 12 he's shooting free throws and he's looking at LeBron he's looking at um uh was Wayne Wade Chris Bosh he has to get, he's putting the ball down he's he, he looks at them both he goes it's just it's just that that intensity that that look that he gave those guys like I'm disgusted with you guys that's that's old school that's like you know when you're on the court and all the good guys want to get on one team they get on the team and they're still losing and you're just like laughing at them like that's the kind of the 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 showmanship and the competition that he garnered on the court and he he gave it he dished it out he could hit from range he hit clutch shots he's he was the do it all player and, you know, it's going to be sad to see him go, but it's good to see him go, you know, go out on his own terms. And, you know, he already has a championship. He had the, I believe he got the finals MVP that year, which was well-deserved. I mean, he was just straight up nasty, straight up nasty. And, like I said, he never jumped ship. You know what I mean? Not not, not willingly. And he he's from that old school cloth. You know what I'm saying? I'm, um, much congratulations to him. Him and his family. I mean, think about this. The guy got stabbed up like seven seven times or so. And for him to have such a great career after such a horrific incident in a club, you know, that certain things, that would cause people to just, you know, I don't want to play basketball anymore. But he persevered and he became the truth. And when I tell you he was the truth on the court, he was the truth. The jumper was wet. The defense was good. The, the attitude was 100% like on point like you know what I'm saying like I'm gonna come I'm gonna rip your heart out 
And you know what I'm saying? Like even if you take remember when they played um the Brooklyn Nets played the Toronto Raptors and Paul Pierce hits a game winner and he says he says, This is why I'm here. This is why I'm here. Even even when he wasn't in his prime, that attitude, that fire, it's a road game. You know what I'm saying? Most guys don't say anything, you know what I'm saying? They're just excited. He looks at the crowd. He runs to the crowd and says, This is why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Like they just don't make it like make them like that anymore. You know what I'm saying? We that era is gone. The Ray Allen's, Kobe's, Garnett's, Tim Duncan, all that is gone, man. It, it's kind of sad because these guys they're flashy, but the competitive nature is just not there. Like the stare down and the this is why I'm here. That's not here. That's not here anymore. It's just oh I crossed him. I got him. Ah, I got him. Like ah, look at him. He's dancing, but it never was that deep. Fire, that intensity is all gone, and it's leaving out with Paul Pierce. Congratulations, Paul Pierce. Always been there, number 34, the truth. This is Vlad from Hoops Junction, where Hoops meets Hoopla. Peace.